We have an amazing idea we're so excited to share. It's for an ice cream sandwich like you have never had before. It actually starts with a grilled cheese sandwich, but you make it on cinnamon swirl bread with a little bit of apple butter and some cheddar cheese, and it ends up tasting like apple pie. And you use that toasty warm sandwich to encase your ice cream, and it is phenomenal. It takes less than 10 minutes to make, and it's super easy. I'll show you how. I have here a quarter cup of apple butter, and that's going to give us that wonderful apple pie flavor in combination with the cinnamon swirl bread. So just spread some on. This is a quarter cup. You're going to spread it on every single bread slice. Eight bread slices here. And then I also have some white cheddar cheese. So you think about apple pie, a lot of people use a cheddar cheese garnish, which is kind of classic and delicious. And that's what's going to give us our apple pie flavor as well. So a little bit of cheese. This is one and a half ounces of cheese, which is a third of a cup. You assemble your sandwiches and then you're going to coat both sides of each sandwich with cooking spray. I just have a cast iron grill pan. You can use any grill pan you have and it's heated over medium heat. I'm going to place my sandwiches in here and it's going to make basically a panini. It, gives the, it will give the ice cream sandwiches that nice sort of corrugated look. Okay, and you don't need an expensive panini press because look, all you have to do is press your sandwiches down with another cast iron skillet that's going to press and compress the sandwiches as they cook. Okay, so after they've cooked for a few minutes, you can flip them over and kind of see what's happening in the pan. See, they're getting that nice what I've corrugated look, and the pan that you put on top of them weights them down, so they're kind of like little paninis. Okay, I flip them over, I'm going to put the heavy skillet back on top and cook for a few more minutes. Okay, so the sandwiches are done, and while they're still warm, then you want to put on your ice cream. It's actually not ice cream, it's vanilla fat-free frozen yogurt, and I'm kind of fond of the, uh, the Greek yogurt, but you can use any fat-free ice cream or yogurt you like. So spread it on, this is gonna be about a half cup, and this is gonna make two desserts, two ice cream sandwiches. So just spread it on, you don't have to be too neat with it, because you know what, it's gonna melt, and that's the yummy, yummy part. So just put it on there, take a serrated knife, which works really well for cutting bread, cut it in half, and looky there, there's apple butter, there's cheese, there's ice cream that's getting gooey and melty, absolutely delicious.